Good evening. The Darien Y controversy is just the latest problem in what's been a rough year for the public safety director, the police chief, and APD's image in general. But one person who has been nearly invisible through all this is the man who's really in charge of the police department, the big boss, Mayor R.J. Berry. News 13's Katie Kim is live in the Newsplex with the story. Dig and Diane, the mayor hasn't been very vocal about White's case or any of the other controversy surrounding APD for that matter. Today, we took our questions to Albuquerque's top dog about his police department. The mayor has his messengers when it comes to APD's PR. The mayor made it clear to us, do what it takes. Darren White, Chief Ray Schultz, Sergeant Trish Hoffman, Chief Administrative Officer Rob Perry and spokesman Chris Ramirez and countless press releases from the mayor's office. But the mayor himself has been almost invisible for every major mess at APD. Everything from a wave of police shootings and expensive lawsuits to allegations of dirty cops and ugly internet posts by officers. And now this, the Darren White scandal. Today, the mayor finally talked on camera, but only after we tracked him down. It's not a matter of being willing to stand up and answer a question. Those questions around what Darren White did or didn't do after his wife Kathleen crashed into a curb last week and then admitted to police she was taking prescription pills but was not tested for DUI. White came and picked her up from the scene. I'll speak on this incident as far as my thoughts on it when I have the data that I need and right now what I have is a concern here and a concern there and, and, and on both sides of the issue. In a press release to the media on Monday, the mayor said he ordered the city's independent review officer, who is a city employee, to investigate the crash. Barry's not saying much now, but he said that's by design. I don't want things getting filtered to the mayor's office. I don't want anybody concerned that we're somehow, you know, getting involved with that. But the mayor's office has gotten involved. Why are we here? What is the allegation? That's Rob Perry, the mayor's second in command, defending Darren White's actions at the Monday night press conference. Because of that kind of involvement by the mayor's office, the four Democrats on city council are now calling for an outside investigator to look into the incident, someone far removed from the Barry administration. It's just too close to home. We really need to get answers, and we need to do it in a way that's credible. Mayor Barry stands by his decision. He says he also stands by Darren White and the police department. We've got people that dedicate themselves every day to doing great work out there. A city council committee will meet tomorrow afternoon to discuss hiring an outside investigator. Several councilors want to wait until the city's independent review results come back. That could be as soon as next week. Back to you. All right, Katie, the Albuquerque Firefighters Union, which has had a lot of issues with White and with the Barry administration, today voted no confidence in the public safety director. The police union did the same thing.